Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Crim6 gearing up for game number two. It's Search and Destroy on Sovereign. Complexity crushing final boss when it came to domination. But this is a totally different game mode. Scott, for those people tuning in for the first time, for the fans around the world, shout out to Sowers in the UK. Who are, excuse me, how do you play this Search and Destroy game? What are the rules? Well, Search and Destroy, obviously, it's the first of six, but you got to get that bomb down right away. You, what you're going to see here, and the best thing about complexity, and this is going to really test to see what they're bringing this event, is you're going to see a lot of A pushes on this. They love A. Every other team and their mother loves B. Complexity finds B. it home very easy at A, and we're going to see a four-man four push, push, and you're going to watch something a little bit different here. So many people run trophies. I want to start this off with TP as soon as he's on offense. They're which, on offense now, my friend. Yep. I want to start off with TP, and notice how he is running. Uh, he doesn't run trophies. He runs a blast shield. Oh, he's got a trophy right there. Does he? he oh, oh yeah. my god. Yeah, that's a trophy frag grenade he running. He fought tooth and nail against this. I was hanging out with him last night. He was like, dude, I have to run a blast shield. And his reasoning was, if you can you dodge the first nade, you're fine with blast shield. He thinks it's better. But so right away, already off the break, we are seeing the strong A. And Karma was uh, late to change his classes there. He kind of came into the loading at the very end. So he's not into the mix as they expected here. And at the start, TP gets the best of Ace, who had the Bulldog. And Ogre 2 has been dropped by Aches. So a fantastic start for Cole. Four on two, bomb in hand. TP's going to be pushing right up here at A. Yep, Snakebite being the last guy. He's all the way in control. We should see Complexity dropping the bomb as we do. And now it is all up to my man PJ here. Has one guy, takes him out, and now he's in a four-on-two scenario. Can he do it? He's got a solid weapon for this position. Two more players to get past, though. TP and Karma. This is not going to be easy. Looking at the mini-map, if he pushes right now, he can catch TP sleeping as the other player is inside that server room to his right. Can Snakebite... Sneak the kill here. Will he spot TP land down? This is so scary here. He's got a guy right in behind, and we should actually see the fight as soon as he runs the corner. And he's got one, and this is now a one-on-one -on -one pocket. He's got to get there oh. with seven and a half seconds left to get the defuse. Either way, TP knows it. They're ready for him. And Karma, honestly, he was just baiting this situation. Once you know where your opponent's coming from, you basically have the round. And TP, with the perfect execution, got two kills and the plant that round. So Complexity still showing their weakness there. Did you see that? They were up three guys of one, and they were challenging gunfights. Until the end where, you know, Snakebite caught one guy with his pants down. They all challenged gunfights. You don't need to do that when the bomb's out. Just run away. You can see Snakebite switching up his classes. Meanwhile, the bomb being carried by Ogre 2, and Ace is going to be my player to watch simply because of this Bulldog. Look at that yellow arrow charging forward. Already he's actually dropped. Down goes Ogre 2 as well, as it looks like Aix wins the battle for control. Snipe down, going to pick up one kill on TP to make it a three on two. But everything in Complexity's favor. How can Snakebite and Snipe down do this? Well, the one thing that's tough is that Complexity know the bomb's down right here on this catwalk, and they are just going to kind of keep their eyes right around it. If you look at their mini-map here, it's going to be a little bit interesting here as actually Snipe down's able to acquire it, and now we're going to see a strong B push. Yeah, actually just flip through, and Krim, if you look at him on the mini-map, that yellow arrow, he's set up to watch that, that bomb, but actually Krim was down on the bottom floor. No one was up top here in the control room. Everyone dropped, and the bomb is down. Nice plant by Snake or Snipe down. And now the question is, can they stay alive and prevent the defuse? Well, Snipe down has one guy, and he's going to actually just needs to stay alive. They need to stay alive here, so he's going to be taken out. It's all up to Snake Bite yet again. Snipe down was dropped. Nice flank again as that was Krim6 working with Karma to get the kill. Here's a battle! One-on-one! Oh! -on -one. Snakebite oh. needs to hold him off, but no, Krim is going to clutch it. Gets the defuse as well. And Complexity off to a hot start 2-0. Both games, or both rounds so far, Aix has got the intro two kills for Complexity, though. I want to point that out because he is winning that initial battle that is so important. First Bloods in S&D are game changers. Yeah, and the one thing you guys should be noticing here is that Karma has not really busted out the snipe. Now, I don't know if this is what we're going to be seeing all tournament long, but if that is the case, if he's running no sniper versus other teams, that makes the other team's sniper basically obsolete. You can see Aix, he's that white arrow on your screen. TP, and it looks like Karma actually carrying the bomb over to A. So staying on board with Aix, I want to see what he's doing inside B. Is he going to push forward, or will he just wait for movement and then try and come up on the flank? Aix does have two guys here, and final boss is set up for a, basically a B attack here. Has one guy, and that's so big for Aix. Now that we should see the bomb go down almost immediately. The player was just picked at B, though. So, or A, excuse me. Nice kill by Ace. 
And you can see Aches here from Complexity taking fire as well. Kills going down over at eight, and it looks like Snipe Down is pulling out some scope action. Can he hit this Snipe on the player near the bomb? This is the first one. He's in. He's got a good spot. He just really needs to slow this down. He's got Ogre 2 to his right. He just needs to slow this down and kind of just go slow and steady and just wait. He got hit by a nade here, and he does have a very good angle. Great angle here. Oh! oh! Through the wall, the guest shot. And that's going to tie it up at a 2-2. The bomb still not down. 23 seconds, and it looks like Aix needs to go for that move now. He's going to plant Ogre 2. Last man standing against Krim 6 and Aix. Looking at it from Ogre 2's point of view now. Krim is going to light him up, and that is the round, the bait and switch again. Complexity, when it's a two-on-one, they are never going to lose that. Their teamwork is just too solid. Yeah, right there, final boss was really in a good position. Ogre 2 pushed out. He didn't even anticipate another guy being by research. And that's one of those plays, you know, it, it's a two-on-one. If he catches, you know, Aches with his pants down, then he just pushes into generators. Awesome. If not... It's okay. There's a look at the real GOAT, Ogre 2, the greatest of all time when it comes to competitive FPS here at MLG. And we're going to start off on board with him. He is the bomb carrier, rocking the double trophy system. And I think he's going to be targeting A once again. So far, we've only seen one attempt at B. That was by Final Boss. This is now their second attack going towards A. And I love, the, I love this mix up here. Ace actually switched his classes. He went to a thermal. And he threw smokes in B to kind of distract him. So I really like that play call. A little bit of mental games there. Snipe down, able to get a pick as Snake Bite was cleaned up. And it looks like in this three on three, Ogre 2 is going to go for the plant. Lost his cover from Snipe down, though. And on the other side of the map is his teammate. So Ogre 2 all alone against these three arrows, and he's pinned. This is not looking good for him. <laughs> And it looks like we have a sneaky defuse coming out from Karma, confident that his teammates can protect him. That is going to be it as Ace is tagged up with his stuns and done. Karma gets the defuse, and that is the fourth round for Complexity. Complexity's looking solid. Uh, final boss, you know, when you switch from one game, especially from Halo to this, where it's basically respawn heavy, you're expecting them to lose the search and destroy. You are expecting them to. And this, I didn't expect it to be this bad, but, you know, 4-0, that's probably going to end with like a 6-1. I don't even know if they'll take a round at this point. When you're the 16th seed going up against the number one seed in a tournament, you're not yeah. expected to win either. Anything. Anything. But so far, they try to hang a domination. They are getting blown out when it comes to search and destroy. The strategies from complexity near flawless and i'm once again i have aches lit up on your mini map that yellow arrow could poke out and get first blood at any moment they're just waiting for the teammates to distract and krim is actually going to pick up a kill with his frag grenade yeah dual frags on this map really work his tp now should be able to put down the bomb aches now still baiting the control room it's so smart because one of the routes a lot of people are going to take is push through the control room and jump out the front nest and aches is just cutting that off completely Aix picked up one, no oh! TP, trying to jump shot, gets caught manling, and that is a big mistake. Now a one-on-one, -on -one. Ogre 2 has a chance to go for the sneaky defuse. Does Aix know it? Can he get there in time? Shot's oh! going down, and he will stop the bomb. No, Ogre 2 got it off. Yeah. Wow. Ogre 2 gets the defuse. Aix shooting through the wall, but a half second too late on the kill. Final boss, not getting goosed, come search and destroy. That's a ballsy move there by Ogre 2, but, you know, he is the GOAT for a reason. It paid off, my friend. We're on board now with Snakebite. He had that big opening round with three kills since then. He's definitely quieted down at six and five. Question is, will they get aggressive? How do you counter complexity right now? Because Colt looks so comfortable just with their setup. Yeah, it, it, it's really tough. Basically, what you're looking to do here, especially when a team's throwing a hard B at you every single time on defense, is you just want to just go for A. Just keep running A's, throw a lot of smokes, have someone with a double stun class with a strong arm, and just get it in that back research and just push it. And then as soon as you get there, just four-man overload it. That seems to be what works, at least on lock. Ogre 2, one on four situation, not expected to win this. If he does, it's a miracle, and he's not going to get the opportunity. A 4-0 shutout here in round number six. Karma ending it with the knife to the heart. Check it out one more time. Yeah! Looks like a double swipe. Good work yeah. there, Karma. Taking yeah. care of business. This guy must work out. All right, there's a shot at Aix, the captain. Can he close it out? He's currently 10-2 in this search and destroy. He's on offense once again. Let's see what this man has been up to. 
I'm interested to see what Aix does here. He's been doing the exact same thing every single round, and Final Boss hasn't caught on at he, all. He lets his teammates go for the plant, or at least fake it, and then he just capitalizes on Final Boss's mistakes. They're freaking out. They're all trying to rotate at oh, once to deal with the man. issue. And Aix so sneaky here, running right through the middle, oh. does get caught, and he will be cleaned up. Krim is going to hear that call out. Meanwhile, still trying to pick off the player defending A. Yep, three on three scenario here. We got TP sitting in the generator. We got Krim just basically hanging out, giving him some cover as TP's trying to get some wall banks here. And this is very, very interesting. I kind of favor Final Boss in this right now just because of the positions as TP goes down. And look so at the flank, man. They do have Snake Fight on the long flank. Meanwhile, Karma, he's distracted, trying to go for the sniper shot. Krim trying to focus on that player. Will Snake Fight continue to rotate around? If not, his teammates will fall as you see Krim oh. gets one pick. Karma. Trying to get the snipe, and it's all up to Snake Bite now after the pick on Ace by Karma. Yeah, Kar Karma shot was just filthy right there. So he's going to be cleaned up. And now, is this a is this a Krim bot? One on it's one. Halo on Halo. Krim versus Snake Bite here. Yeah, we, we should probably mention that Krim Six also a former MLG champion back in the Halo days. He didn't win an event. Don't you lie to them. He tried. <laughs> <laughs> we got Crim6 going up against Snakebite. And will Snakebite be able to get there? No, bomb down. No chance at defusing it. And it looks like Snakebite staying alive is going to get this. Yeah. Good luck, man. Good good work yeah. by Snakebite. I thought he was going to challenge. That's the most important thing about Search and Destroy. As soon as you get that bomb down, just play like a big pansy. Just run away. And excuse me, actually the bomb never got down there from complexity. So here we got Snakebite sticking with the Remington. This time Thermal Scope on the lead though. It's going to be Ogre 2 with the bomb. Trophy systems enabled and we got a 2-2 spread as it looks like Ace and Snipe Down are trying to focus over on B. Very rarely do you see a 2-2 push here on Sovereign. Sometimes we'll see a 3-1s like we've been seeing out of complexity with the one being on B side or the one going on A side. But 2-2s normally don't work out and the reason is because you gotta be strong on one side. Ogre 2 already has one trophy down so that's looking good as he's got cover from Snipe down pushing down a different lane. This is actually looking good for him as they got the bomb down. They just yeah. gotta make sure they stay alive. It all started with first blood from Snake Bite. He got the pick with the sniper rifle. And that gave them the man advantage. However, TP and Karma answer right back, making it a two on two. Shots going down on the bomb diffuser. TP on that bomb. Karma, great defense. And it's all up to Ace. If he can't get the kill, this is game over. And he will be late. TP gets the defuse. And that is game number two in the bag for complexity. Well, you can see on Ace's face right there, he was not aware that TP was going for that defuse at all. He was expecting TP to be around because, you know, he sat there, he reloaded, he didn't have any sense of urgency, he was hanging out. And as we take a look at the stats here, Aix doing a good job there. 10 and 4, one plant. He's playing well. That strat on hiding up top B is, is really sick. It, it used to be everyone rushing B. Complexity changing the game. Changing the strategy went A almost every time. I think they did all, every, every single time. All of their attacks went to A. They left Aix in the bait position or in the position to hop on it on the flank. He took advantage of it. They're up 2 0. The question is can they get the clean sweep with the win on Blitz? Game three is coming up after this.